Let's look at these beautiful iguanas. These are Tobago Bay, obviously. Wow. And I also produce the black ones from Sabah Island. This I'm the so first cool. one to produce them in the U.S. Really dark? Black, yeah. yeah. This is their color, believe it or not. So check this out. We're talking about heating the lizards during the winter. Four dollars, if that. Right. That's super easy. I have $800 a month electric bill. Right. Six thousand a month. Six thousand dollars a month in the winter time. Oh, I love it. That what do you got? Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm hanging out here with my good friend Todd Park and we're at Iguana Land. And one of the fun things I love about uh, being friends with different reptile keepers is you get to learn many, many different things about how to keep them. Now this is ingenious, buddy. Our animal mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. So check this out. Ty, why don't you explain to everybody what we got going on. We're talking about heating the lizards during the winter. Look at this. Is it perfect for small monitors? Okay. Right? This I got from Home Depot. Okay. That's the cement mixing stuff, right? Four dollars, if that. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, Four right. Cement mixing tub from Home Depot. Right. Yes. All right. And now we got Zoom mat, heat mat. It's only 40 watt. And you use that as the floor. Right, That's the floor, floor. And then I got these two pieces to cover the Space as the empty yeah, space empty right space. here, and it also becomes a leg. It, it becomes a leg, right? Yeah, so you that is that's super easy. And, and you know what the great thing is, is down here for us in Florida, and if you live in the southern United right. States, you don't really need exactly. a heated shelter for more than two or three months, right? If that well, good thing about this is number one, it doesn't you know, when you have hundreds and hundreds of cages, yeah. every wattage count. Oh, it does. Right? My, just in my home alone, I have $800 a month electric bills. Right. I can imagine what you're running. 6,000 a month. $6,000 a month in the winter time. Yeah, so going from 40 to 100 watt would basically double that. <laughs> oh right? my gosh. But having said that, some of the large enclosure will have 150 watt a ceramic heat emitter okay. because they need it, right? Right, right? right, right. So basically this is very simple to make and it's very functional. All you have to do is raise it up 30 degrees. That's it because you never go down below 30 degrees down here. Yeah, right. And right? the other thing I, I, I've done, because I use these zoom added heaters as well in my hide box. I mm -hmm. build, I construct wooden things. And what I like to do is since that whole floor is warm, what I do is I take cork bark right, and I'll right, pile right. some up. So if they get a little too warm, I let sure. them, they can climb up and get away from just the heat thing. Great idea. Then that's, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. We right. share ideas. Right. I love it. But right. you know, let's not just look at us. Let's look at these beautiful iguanas that he's actually taking care of. These are the Tobago K iguana. Now, at first glance, you might think it's a green iguana, and it is definitely related to the green iguana, right. but you can see this animal has a way different color variant. And talk to me a little bit about these guys, Ty. What do you know about these guys? Nothing. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> I do not believe you. These are Tobago Bay, obviously. Um, and uh, they're in Caribbean Island, okay. um, a very small uh, the island. And uh, I, I believe there, I have yet to see a big adult. I think species wise, they're a little smaller than the normal green iguana. Okay. Right? And I believe the, uh, recently they were described as different species from iguana, 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 iguana yeah, which is the yeah. common green iguana so right, so exactly. they have been moved up to their own specific I, status right right which is really cool and when you look at them i mean i really love the nuchal spikes right, right. above on their Absolutely. neck really yeah, right. really pro pronounced and right. that's typical of a male right. right um and you said you have produced some babies of these yes i did okay. uh, not too many this is you can see the female is still very small right only two eggs were viable Okay. So I'm keeping the babies. Very cool. Right, and I also produce the uh, the black ones from Sabah Island. Oh, really? Yeah, those are really cool. The blacks, where are they at? Yeah, they're over here in like a fourth cage over here, a black one. Uh, they have, I'm sure if somebody did the test, or I mean the, the research, I'm sure they're gonna become another different another species. species. Also, Can yeah. we have a look at those guys? Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. thank you. I just want to get a quick shot yep. of this yep. female. Here she is. I won't get too close to so that. Still small. Very cool. All right, let's go look at these. Now, which Saba. one? These are the Saba Island? Yeah, this is the black one. And I'm, this is I'm so the first cool. one to produce them in the US. Oh, get out of here. That's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is um, what I love about there over this way. What I love about um, coming to ties is he really is very knowledgeable about iguanas. And the cool thing is, is I always thought, ah, oh, there's just iguana, iguana years ago. And then as I grew up and I started to do more research and meet people like Ty, you start to find out that each island uh, has, an, uh, has an animal that's just endemic to that island. It's a little bit different. So over the course of many thousands and perhaps even hundreds of thousands of years, these animals become specific. So they become a species unto themselves. Oh my gosh. Ty, that's awesome, man. Look at that. Wow. Is that the female or the male? This is a female. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Really dark. Black, yeah. yeah. This is their color, believe it or not. So they stay like that. Yeah. A lot of times you'll see green iguanas get dark to exactly. absorb heat, but this but is... This old. is their color. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's kind of a funny thing. They may be the most popular uh, pet right. lizard. Right, right, But right, even right. seeing a really big beautiful male uh -huh. common green right. still is it absolutely. stops me in my tracks oh yeah absolutely. you know They're it's such a magnificent beautiful. animal definitely all right very cool <laughs> so you see that and again guys yeah, check it out look at the here. heater yep very simple yep. okay you guys need not break the bank yep all you got to do is be creative and i just put the other way it's fine yeah. is it like this hold on buddy i'll just all you want to do is heat up the box that's it oh that's very awesome. simple we just put it in there oh. Yeah, see, so they can actually right. go under yeah, it. Under or over, or over. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. All right, well, that is so cool, Ty. I appreciate you taking the time to show us these guys. We got to see a couple of ways how they yeah. heat them here at Iguana Land. What do you got? But I want to tell you that this is for just for function. When I opened the zoo, these boxes will be... Retired? More, yeah, we'll no, yeah, and retired, display. and the, the, the boxes will be more like uh, 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 aesthetic. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so okay, that makes right, sense right, too. Right. That's so really cool. Pull great. that. Yep. So we don't get stuck. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. All right, everyone. So another fun video with my buddy Ty. I get to learn a lot when I come here, and that means a lot to me. And I implore you guys to make friends with people that know more than you. It's always the best way to further yourself. Uh, it's a little advice for me to you, and I have no problem saying that I don't know as much about lizards as Ty. Right. And well, we're doing good. I'm learning. I'm stealing a lot of ideas. But when when you're friends, it's really not stealing. It's about sharing. Absolutely. So, I love sharing. That's what I want to do. That's what I'm here for. And you know, that's I want to also stay off topic. But another cool thing about a champion, whether you're a champion at uh, an athletic pursuit or even an academic pursuit, mm -hmm. true champions welcome. Uh, competition and true champions uh, share information because they have faith in their own abilities. Right, I don't know why I'm getting all ethereal on you guys, but it's a <laughs> life lesson I learned. I like to pass more than just animal lessons along. I'll see you guys later. Thanks, like, and subscribe, and make sure you come check out Iguana Land when it opens this April. See ya.